Hello everyone and welcome to Just Brandon. There's been something that I've really been wanting to say. Something that's just been inside of me and that I, I just need to get out. And that something is, I miss ballet. Due to the current situation in the world, the United States took precautionary measures by closing everything that's considered non-essential. That means everything that we cannot live without is open. Some examples of those are grocery stores, food, and hospitals. And everything else that we can survive without is closed, i.e. ballet studios. Being a professional ballet dancer, there's nothing better than going to the studio, taking class, and rehearsing all day for performance later on. The last time that my company was in work was February 16th. We had just finished up our last performance of Carmen, then we had a small layoff period, and we were supposed to come back, but due to the current situation, everything changed. Now what I've seen online and social media is a lot of dancers are actually at home giving stretching exercises or even ballet bar classes, which is great. I'm glad that I can go online and find someone teaching a bar class and pulling up a chair or even holding onto a wall or anything around my room and just taking bar but there is nothing better than being in the studio and doing a whole class. What I want to say is I want to wish everyone the best in health and positivity that is a professional ballet dancer whose companies are closed due to this current situation. I know it's a very difficult time. I also had a guesting lined up and this was canceled due to the current situation as well. And I hope that everyone watching and everyone around the world is staying positive and staying safe and healthy. And what has happened actually recently is the videographer from the company I dance for recently reached out to me. He sent myself and everyone in the company copies of our last two performances. It was kind of bittersweet because especially these days I've been missing my work a lot, a lot more because I'm not able to go to a studio and take, even take class. Once he sent us these performances, it put a small smile on my face and I'm glad he did that. So what he sent us was our last two performances that we did. He sent us a copy of Nutcracker and Carmen. I'd like to thank him so much for sending it to us. So in today's video, I wanted to show you guys some clips of me dancing in the performances that we finished before all this happened. Before I start to show you guys these videos, I wanted to let you know two things. The first thing is we are doing the poll again. That's right, you can check in the description and in the link in the comments down below to access our poll to vote for what video you want to see at the end of this month. That poll is going to end on April 23rd. And while you're down there, why not click that subscribe button? We are trying to reach 4,000 subscribers because once we reach 4,000 subscribers, we're going to be able to give something to you. I appreciate all your support, all your help, and all your viewership. I really hope everyone is doing great at this time. So without further ado, here's some clips from our last performances of Carmen. Let's go.
Now that was some clips from our performance of Carmen. Uh, we finished these performances back in February. So that one is very bittersweet because it is the last performance that we did before we even knew that all this was gonna happen and everything was gonna be closed. Uh, when I started watching it, I remember I performed it two years ago with this company and we also performed it this year and this is the first time I get to actually see the whole video. The next one I want to show you is, of course, Nutcracker. There's one thing I want to say about this performance of Nutcracker and that is I've done the same role for the same company for three years and that is Russian or Traypak and I've never gotten a professional shot video of that production. The only way I've seen myself is if I ask someone to film from the side or film rehearsal, but I've never had like performance video shot from the front of Traypak Russian or anything else in this Nutcracker performance. So I know you guys have seen this on my channel before, but this is the first time that I can actually show it from a front view in a performance and the full production. And I finally got it and it took me three years and I'm glad I have it, and I thank the videographer. So, please enjoy. So I hope you guys enjoyed those two videos showing you of past performances that I was part of before all this started. I hope you guys are staying all positive, healthy, and safe during these tough times. All ballet dancers in the United States are off at this moment. There is no studios open, there's no performances going on, and it's sad to see that left and right you're seeing so many things get canceled. I hope this video put a smile on your face and gave you a little bit of hope during these tough times. Now this channel uploads every Tuesday and Friday. So make sure you subscribe down below and hit that bell icon to turn on all notifications so you never miss an upload on this channel. I want to thank you so much everyone for watching. Chandra Toroku, Onegaishimasu, and remember, we are